It was a full field. 15 men at semi-final stage vying for a place in the top five in the hopes of getting one step closer to the title of men's physique champion. After the judges sized them up, these were your top five. Antigua's Kenroy Christian, Jamaica's Daniel Horton, another Antiguan Tony Jacobs, and the two Haitians, Hanson John and Mark Louis. And after one final pose done for the judges, which between the smiles and the definition was on point, these were your top three. A judge third, Louis, who had the right balance of muscle mass and definition, giving his Haitian team something to cheer for. That made way for an Antiguan domination. As stepping on stage with flair and poise, confidence added to that, Tony Jacobs did just what he needed to do to take the second place. And your men's physique winner, he stood tallest among them all, walking onto the stage signaling he is the one to beat, making the transitions through poses look so easy, with every muscle chiseled to almost perfection. Kenroy Christian will be heading back to his neighboring Antigua, all smiles and as a champion. Right to the top five in the men's classic physique, just look at those side profiles, class is class. Lamar Coward, far right, added the lone Bajan flavor in this final showdown as he shared the stage with Boisson Tabot of France, Oscar Lopez of Mexico, Belgium's Joseph Peter and Randall Hamak of Suriname. Here now are your top three. In third, homeboy Lamar Coward, who came into the competition in peak form and on the heels of gaining a pro card. He had the home crowd in a frenzy, and I'm sure you can see why. Overall, a good showing from him throughout the entire competition. Mexico's Oscar Lopez showed his flexibility along with what was needed to have that chiseled and defined physique to be adjudged second. And the man who outshunned them all, immediately coming on to the stage to give a full view of what a champion of physique should look like. Arms rock solid, every muscle in clear view and superbly defined, urging the crowd to acknowledge that the hard work has paid off. The man no other could beat on the night, Joseph Peter traveled from Belgium to Barbados to walk with the Roger Boyce men's physique title. And to the men really packing the muscles, the bodybuilders from a field of 11, they were dwindled down to five. Two of them Bajans. On either end, Ramon Broom and Nicholas Harris. The other three all Serenese, Sope Coise, German Karg, and defending champion, Eddie Wilson. Local boy Harris, who the day before gained his pro card, was pleased to show off the fruits of his labor. I was able to finish in fifth position. For a broom who is no stranger to the stage or level of competition, despite looking a little leaner than previous years, he was good enough for fourth place. As we got placing, the muscle mass increased. And so we see from third place, Jeremy Card. Look at those triceps and biceps. He certainly looked the part. He was the shortest, but definitely packed a serious form. So Pekoyes lacked nothing in definition and mass as he flexed the muscles. The crowd loved it, and he claimed a well-deserved second place. And need I say anything? Let's just pause and salute the man who last year was unbeatable, and this year still is. From toe to head, he showed what a winner is made of. In a class all his own, Eddie Wilson, two years in a row, just unstoppable. Look at those muscles. He is your Roger Boy's classic bodybuilding champion. Walking away, not only with the title, but 9,000 US dollars richer.